is meant to be a mold that a fighter comes from. Um, I think people put people in stereotypes and maybe that comes from boxing. I'm not really sure. If you just walk in, that's all you see is two people fighting in a cage. You don't know what's going on. Some people don't understand the wrestling. So when they see them wrestle to the ground and start, like they can watch boxing all day, but once they see them punching on the ground, they're like, like that. And MMA fighters aren't dummies. Like I haven't met a stupid fighter yet. Uh, there's a lot of guys who have high levels of education who choose to do this sport. It's a thinking man's game. It's not, it's not for knuckleheads. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on the pain the only thing that's real when I tell people I have a degree and I and I have a you know a good education um, some people are like wow I didn't know that about you and I'm thinking well you know, I went to school like everybody else, why wouldn't I? Uh, I have a degree in physical education and uh, history. Uh, I basically got a degree in banking and finance and international trade. I majored in wrestling. <laughs> no, I, I learned a lot from, from my classes and uh, I learned a lot of things that I, I'm able to use today because uh, um, with teaching and instruction and uh, just, uh, you know, understanding how to break down techniques. Uh, not only just to teach other people, but for yourself. Like anything, I would have worked my way up. I started, um, you know, in the back office. I aspired to, to work in finance and um, and climb the ranks of, you know, as a stockbroker and um, work my way up through, you know, through the ranks. And I, and I have no doubt that I would have if that's what I wanted to do. I just learned how to work hard. I learned discipline. I learned a lot of things while I was there um, that, that didn't just come from wrestling. Being the best I could possibly be at this new thing that I found, this MMA. Um, I started just immersing myself in jiu-jitsu and boxing and, and every aspect of the sport, just, just trying to make myself better every day. I wanted to wake up every morning knowing that I could beat myself up the previous morning. You know, for me, it was about martial arts. You know, I, I loved martial arts as a kid. I loved, um, I loved uh, everything about it, the discipline, the learning, the constant um, battle to improve and, and be the best you can be. Yeah, you know, all the training, all... All the years, all the sacrifices, it's about sitting at the dinner table and watching everybody else eat what you want to eat, hearing about the party you can't go to, you know, hearing about all these things. It's like a lifetime of preparation and you would need three lifetimes just to maybe get close to mastering the art of jiu-jitsu. You would need three to four lifetimes of mastering the art of wrestling, not to mention the art of boxing and Muay Thai and Taekwondo, Judo freestyle wrestling, Greco-Roman wrestling, like there's not enough lifetimes in one life to master these arts, you know, but you can constantly work to be the best you can be. Those are the sacrifices and I guess you wouldn't know that if you just walked in and see two people punching themselves in the face in a cage, you wouldn't think like, looks like these guys have made a lot of sacrifices over their lives. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't get that vibe right off the bat, you know. People are used to putting people in stereotypes and they class people because of what they see in the news or movies and so on. People are, you know, they think, you know, fighters are thugs, but they're not, you know. I, I live a very clean life, and so do most other fighters. But, you know, you have to live a clean life. You have to be dedicated. You have to be disciplined. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. The, the recipe for success is hard work and sacrifice, like anything, whether it's working in finance, being a martial artist, being any kind of athlete. You have to work hard, and you have to have sacrifice. You have to have discipline, and you have to have goals and a vision. When you get in there, you know, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game and it's the performance that you put on. It's like somebody catching a star and saying, look, I caught one. You know, you're like, wow, you can really catch those things? I would find a way.